and combat smooth. Yeah, 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 sure. <clears throat> As we can see, the players are getting ready. And if you just join, you just have been joining us, or are you actually have been watching us the whole event and think that this is actually pretty cool, then please tell your friends and family and make sure that everybody is watching these games at fancy.com where we'll be bringing you this European Championship Finals of table hockey. We got four players in the finals right now. We have one Swedish, Hans Östermann. We have Edgar Zeitz playing against him here in the semifinals from Latvia. And also on the other side of the bracket, we have uh, Anton um, uh, Oh, so we're going to start. Oh, excellent. Yeah, back. So just to recap, uh, uh, Östermann won the first match and 3-2, uh, then Sykes took it to extra time and won yeah. that one 4-3 in extra time, then he won the next one 4-1 and then one after that 5-2, so a couple of clear victories mm. after it being so tight at the start. Exactly. And on the other side we have Zach Harald and Umanski, and it looks like Umanski won the second game, so they're actually tied 2-2. Two two. Just when it looked like Umanski was collapsing. Mm. Exactly. But it looks like it was really useful for him. Uh, the, something that must be noted, though, is that the first, second, uh, third game against these two players it was 5-0 to zero when they uh, stopped playing around with a minute and a half left. And the last game they played ended actually 1-2 through overtime. So there still is a skill gap between those guys. And Sides actually starts, opens the game up with the first goal. If he wins this, it's all over. He's in the final. Mm. Esteban still has a chance, though. Four and a half, uh, four minutes and 15 seconds left. And he, well, he doesn't tie it there, but there is still hope for him. The great Swedish hope, as it could be said. <laughs> Setup is there. Esteban tries to find it, but he can't, and Seitz gets his own chance of broadening the lead. And there it goes, really that quick really shovel. clinical position. Down, and that's it. And Seitz once again with the puck on the left wing, to the right wing. Is there going to be another shovel or... oh? Might surprise me. Oh, going straight oh. through the middle. Yeah. Risky stuff. And there we go. Tides once again has the opportunity to score a nice pias or whatever he wants to try from here. Not good enough. Esteban gets the puck. Again. But loses. Oh, oh, look at that. And he apologizes. Yeah, so that there was we not go. Planned. 3 0 for Zeitz. But now it's looking really difficult for Esteban to get back into this. But he has to fight. Three minutes left, and he has to get these goals in. Otherwise, oh. he's going to fall from the tournament. <laughs> well, we're 4 that 0. Fires in a four oh, three. man. It looks really, really grim for Esteban. And once again, Zeitz has the puck. Finally, Esteban gets it. Yes. He's going these risky moves to the center because he's desperate mm. to get the puck forward mm. there. Time and to open gets, the game. 41. And we'll see what is going to happen from here on. Can Esteban get back into the game? At least for now, Sides is holding the puck and gets himself once again another center move. We'll see if he can get it in. Mm. No. And Esteban gets another try of his own offense. Again, go, trying to go through the center. And there we go. Esteban almost gets it, but the goalkeeper is way too easy, easily using that moment for his, to his advantage and gets to keep it. Oh, once again, a quick one. And we're going to see what we're going to see. Right wing, Zeitz. Leading 4-1. Might be 5-1 now. He's setting it up. And a quick Spias 
makes it five to one, and that starts to be it. He has one minute and 15 seconds time for Esteban to make four goals. Sorry, four goals, and after that he should be able to win the overtime, or even if he could get those four, it could become a real big problem. Last minute, Esteban has got a fighting chance, gets a second goal, so it's only three goal lead now for Zeitz. It doesn't mean that it can't be achieved, but it's going to be really hard for him, especially if he loses the puck. But for now, Esteban is in the hole of puck and gets it to the left wing, right wing, oh, but throws it way too far. So Zeitz gets the puck for himself. Esteban gets it, 35, 33 seconds left. And might, this might be it. This might be the end of Esteban's uh, run on this tournament. 24 seconds, three goals. Shows Esteban what he's made of. Style here. Yes, he does. He does. Three to five, 15 seconds left. There is a possibility. But and that's it, it I'm afraid. Yeah. Eight seconds left. <laughs> he's but the puck goes. For it. Oh, damn, oh. nice round. And that's it. Round of Sykes yes. takes it four nice to man. one. A third, a five to three, this <laughs> game, and four to one, this series, and okay. advances to the final. So he's pleased. He seems pleased. And there, Benjamin Suomen comes in. A quick handshake from a great player, just to make sure that he's shown actually on the stream. And it looks like it's a 3-0 win. 3-0 win for... Uh, for Zakharov. Uh, for Zakharov. For Zakharov, okay. okay. So... so